Hello there, Gemini, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. And of course, we're going to be channeling out all that we can from spirit when it comes to your specific situation that you need to know right now. Okay, we've got some type of alchemy at play. You might be uh, wanting to implement others' ideas, or you could come across uh, information or things and blend something in and make it your own. Now, some of you Geminis, because this is a general reading, maybe you're already sitting on an idea. Maybe you already have a project. Maybe you're already uh, doing things and you need to continue to believe that it's turning into gold. You absolutely have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. So you are really being supported by spirit um, to create, to do things, to take action on those things that you feel inspired by. So we're bringing and blending energies here. What else? Hmm. Okay. Oh, this, ooh, Gemini, your guys' energy is really strong right now. Okay, so we've got a uh, wish fulfillment. I'm getting temperance and nine of cups here. <clears throat> so patience, because something is being blended, um, combined from the universe to you and the earthly realms to enjoy a beautiful manifestation that is a wish of yours. So right now, you want to give in to just feeling good, feeling inspired. Uh, give in to your dreams. Give in to your wishes, okay? And trust that they're developing for you. It's like baking in the oven. What else for Gemini? You're, you're more powerful than you realize, and it's safe for you to be powerful. I'm getting this thing where a lot of you have been uh, working really hard at... You know, not letting something stop you, or if something had stopped you, you overcame it and you're getting your power back or you've gotten your power back and you're being supported. People are proud of you. Friends are proud of you or they will be. Okay. So it's your time to rise. It's time for you to, you know, know your worth and not be afraid to show what you got. Okay. What else for Gemini? Father healing. Oh, okay. There's something strong that's being healed right now. Uh, Father healing. And a lot of you Geminis, my hands got really, really warm, actually, when I was picking up that empowerment card. This is why I was feeling, or was it the make a wish? I don't know. But anyhow, I was feeling this very powerful energy with you. So you guys are either doing some powerful healing work yourself, and I'm picking up on it, um, or... Or, you, well, yeah, you are doing some powerful healing work. Or there's an energy of a father, right? The divine father um, that's providing you healing, support, especially when you have felt um, unsupported and maybe not so strong, but your personal power is increasing as you give any father-related issues to heaven. Because you're taking control of something. And this is the thing that you guys are actually embodying this father type energy, which would be like the divine masculine. Okay. So like emperor energy type. Okay. And you're getting things under control and owning your own power right now. So I feel a lot of you Gemini's in the workplace or wherever you're at, you are up leveling big time. Okay. And you need to just be comfortable with a new position, a higher position in life here. Oh, this card's sticking to me. This is so funny. Oh my gosh, Gemini, thanks for thanks for letting me do your reading. Cause I was just thinking about how funny it was. I, you know, sometimes before I'd be doing readings and they just would be sticking to my arm or something. And now here it is. So you're you're magnetic. This is this is the energy that I'm getting. You're very magnetic. My God. And what did I just say about up leveling in your position? Look, leadership. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Share your knowledge. Share you. Okay? Big or small, it doesn't matter. Inspire and empower others. Some of you, you might want to practice, right? Or you've been practicing. Well, you don't need to practice anymore. Well, just get out there. Practice in real life, right? <laughs> I'm not saying that you're not. But 
don't second guess your ability to be a leader, to share something, right? To know your value. And, you know, a, a great leader will always know that they're going to trigger and challenge people, but it's not your job to people please anyone. It's your job just to take the lead because there's something you already know what to do. You're the alchemist. You're creating something, you're blending something, you're making something your own and it's very unique or you're being guided to do that. What else for Gemini? Freedom. Prosperity. Ooh, you might get that time, that resource, that money you need to give you a little bit of freedom to increase your passions, your enthusiasm, you know, whatever it is, inspiration. So let's talk about the freedom card that came out. Uh, live wild and free. Yeah, let your hair down. Be wild and free. Don't be afraid of what others think about you too, Gemini. Okay, if you tend to. <laughs> it's like, don't play it small. Um, you know, the things that you value will not be the same that others value, but who cares? <laughs> who cares? You are choosing your free freedom. You're claiming or reclaiming your independence your status, your power, choose freedom and choose freedom, you know, when it comes to like, cause there's something very unique that is just your thing. And spirit doesn't want you to feel like you have to hide that anymore. You know, you don't, you don't need to. And maybe this is a time to just kind of let loose. Okay. You've got money coming to you. Prosperity, <laughs> I love it. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. So we gotta love and honor all the things, whether it's you know your finances, uh, your resources, you know, love it all, okay? And expect it to improve and increase. What else for Gemini? You got a helpful person here too. Gemini, you might be guided to um, help counsel someone or maybe, you know, counsel, he, uh, heal, aid them in some way um, and vice versa here. So, you know, someone wants to help you think of who that might be, initiate contact. Okay. And if that doesn't resonate with you, then I'm getting this strong thing about you being this very helpful person and just to, you know, focus on that and, and know you got what it takes. Okay that you are being inspired to take this leadership role and do what makes you feel good when you help others. Big or small, it doesn't matter. What else for Gemini? Heaven is helping you. You've been praying for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Let's get more with this. And how you get out of the way is Believing, first of all, that your prayers have been heard. <clears throat> and then don't question how or when or why. And maybe just relax a little bit. But let's get a little bit more with this. He uh, accept heaven's help. You prayed for help, so get out of the way. Oh, set healthy boundaries. Yeah. And I feel like I need to get this one too. See, let it shine. I'm telling you, you're meant to let yourself self shine. You're meant to be proud of your achievements, your uh, material achievements, your spiritual achievements, whatever. Okay. And look at this. Spirit is saying to accept heaven's help. You also need to be strong here too and set healthy boundaries, right? With yourself or others that we're not being uh, inundated by negativity or negative thoughts or pes uh, being pessimistic or being around people that are pessimistic. <laughs> okay. So set healthy boundaries, right? Maybe there's something here where maybe some of you, you've been doing too much of one thing and you need to have a little bit more balance and ease, right? Not feeling like you have to go after something uh, so hard here, but let yourself shine. Spirit is really proud of you for the healing work that you've done and that you're continuing to do and the healing work that you do for others. So you're really um, blessed because I see you being this soul that doesn't like to hang on to heaviness within your own, um, you know, emotional body here, right? Not hanging on to, re uh, you know, the things that could really bind us, make us feel maybe unworthy or, you know, whatever we've gone to, you, you take the time to heal and release wounds 
This is what's making you so um, powerful and beautiful and radiant. So yeah, look, it's time to come out and let yourself shine. Don't be afraid to be powerful. Don't be afraid to show what you're made of. What else for Gemini? God. Okay. Okay. Clear out the clutter. And we got this freedom is yours, a horse spirit and think on your feet. So when it comes, oh, see what, I, what did I just say? Don't be inundated by something here. So maybe, you know, look around your surroundings too. It might be time to like tidy up or, you know, get rid of the old, maybe even go through like, e you know, things that stack up bills or emails. Um, you know, just, this is a, a real sense of purification, right? Just to replenish yourself. And maybe for some of you Gemini's, if you don't resonate with clearing out the clutter in your environment, well, it's emotional, mentally, right? Letting yourself, um, you know, have a, a clean slate here. And think quick on your feet. So some of you, you know, it's like, just get going here. Think on your feet. What can you clear out? Okay. But also you're clearing the path. And the fox is, you know, very uh, in tuned with finding their path here. So there may be things that, you know, Spirit is saying, take action on and don't be afraid to. Freedom is yours. Don't let something or anything hold you back right now, especially when you guys are feeling really a, a powerful pull here. Okay. What else? nature ground yourself find a sanctuary in nature and connect with the elementals yeah and let nature guide you right now okay i feel some of you there is something about grounding your energy because i feel that you're grounding something new that's happened with you and we want to like we want to put it in you know we really want to stick it in there so we don't want that to move that's that's the stability here that i'm seeing i want more too with the nature i kind of get um I'm getting like hermit energy with that too. So Virgo is coming through with hermit energy. So yeah, some of you guys, you might, you might be wanting to just kind of clear your space. You might be only wanting to surround yourself with maybe just yourself or one or two people, you know, that aren't going, you know, that are positive at least, or, you know, know that they're not going to put you down in any way. Let's get a little bit more with nature here and maybe just withdrawing from distraction so that you can concentrate on these golden opportunities and ideas. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this <laughs> nature finding, find sanctuary in nature. There may be something too. I mean, take it if it resonates hot springs or something like that. Um, anyhow, make time to relax, be still, enjoy your solitude, indulging in much needed self care. So, you know, I'm seeing a thing where you don't actually need money, you know, to do this, but maybe that's what's happening here too, is that you're increasing your, your time, your money, your energy. So we can give into this, but you need to set boundaries. See, there's something about, you know, you do, taking care of yourself right now. Take time to relax. And it's, you know, talking about that solitude and this is why I was getting that hermit card because hermit likes that they, they love their solitude and they're spending it, um, in a quality time, you know, it's quality solitude, solitude time, let go of the old and worn out. And that's exactly what you're doing. Cause this is why you're allowing yourself to shine. You're letting something new, uh, form here within yourself, within your environment. Yeah, so that the new can come in. And remember the uh, frog spirit? Frog spirit is clearing out the clutter. Get rid of that old stuff or even old correspondence, whatever, you know? O open yourself up to new, fresh. And I do feel a lot of you, Gemini's, like not only nature, but water, you know, uh, wa being near water, in water, you know, hearing water can really recharge you. What else? Life is going to be speeding up. Yeah. Okay. So here you are with your uh, swan spirit 
taking a uh, time for a deep dive or a deep relaxation, much needed self care. Cause look at the beautiful Swan. So life is speeding up when it comes to, you know, you gracefully moving in life here. Okay. So it almost seems like I see all this like hard work going on beneath the surface and you're doing it so gracefully that you can't even tell you're just gliding because you've done the work you've done the inner work. So I'm seeing this acceleration from, uh, the heavens above, where's that heavens card, except heavens help because life is speeding up. You got to think, uh, oh yeah, this is why too. You got to think quick on your feet. I'm getting eight of wands with this. So there's like this sense of maybe a lot of opportunities. Uh, maybe you're prioritizing things. So just, you know, believe in yourself that you, you know, Gemini, I mean, come on, think on your th feet. You, you, you know, this is, this is your energy. You can do that. So there will be like opportunities, possibilities. Okay. And don't hold back, follow your instincts on it. What else for Gemini? Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. Some of you have let that go. And some of you, you're continuing to work it out of you. And you're going to allow yourself and your soul to shine brilliantly. Don't feel bad for the things that you do have or, and what maybe what others don't. Some of you may resonate with that. Okay, so take it if it resonates. But let go of anything that makes you feel less than perfect. You're always being forgiven. We always get a chance. So allow yourself to have a lot of love, a lot of comfort. Be proud of yourself and the things that you've achieved. The worst is now behind you. Yeah, look at that. Let go. And this is the old and worn out. Some of you, this is maybe a pattern here that you've broken. So good for you. You know, like not feeling good or feeling bad, you know, in some way, shape or form. And you're letting it go and just kind of, that's why you're claiming, reclaiming your power or claiming power here. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. What else? Oh, you're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. Okay. Or you might be, um, given an opportunity to go into business for yourself. Okay. I mean, look, we have this thing about alchemy here. So be patient when it comes to some type of opportunity for career business. Okay. Or doing a side thing. Make a decision. If you're feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. There may be something going on here with work, not so much, on, you know, this self-employment. I see like eight of pentacles here. I feel a lot of you are starting to figure something out. Maybe something has become a little bit repetitive for some of you, but um, if you're feeling stuck, you got to listen to your intuition and then make a decision, right? Now is a perfect time to dive and embrace your heart's desire. So what you got to do is you got to feel what your heart would feel in a situation and then allow your heart to make the decision here. Okay. Yes. Use logic too, but I feel a lot of you, you know, there's something going on here when it comes to beneficial changes for you. Okay. And yeah, I feel a lot of you are ready to kind of, cause I kind of think, I, I kind of feel like this person here is like just outgrown this and, and they just want to do, they want to get busy doing things that are productive. And that's this energy that I'm getting with you. It's like, you just want to be productive in some way. Right. And like, maybe you're just in a place where you feel you don't want to maybe, uh, hurt one's feelings or, you know, disappoint people in a sense, or, you know, you just, you just know there's something that you need your own space and time to really be a creator here, right? And to give into what you want to do. Cause I feel there's something where you're, you're, you might be up against something where you kind of feel either someone might be trying to get you to do something or you just don't want to do it. And you're just afraid to say something for some of you, but just give into what you want to do. And, and, and maybe if you don't have to make a decision right now, then don't go out and play, give yourself a break and then come back and make a decision. Okay. Especially when it comes to your work or things that you've been trying to, um, you know, master in your life. What else for Gemini? You're being helped. Look, he heaven is coming out. <laughs> God is like, Gemini got your back here. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see it yet.
even if you don't see it yet. But you got to think, think quick on your feet here because there's going to be uh, an acceleration of things speeding up in life. What else? Watch your thoughts. It's important to think about what you desire, not what you don't, right? That frog spirit clearing out the clutter in the mind, thinking about what you want, not what you don't want. Maybe something like, maybe something sunk down here. I'm seeing the ship that sunk down. It's like, oh, well, oh, well, you know, oh, well, maybe some of you feel that way. Maybe you feel like you hit rock bottom in something or recently, I don't know, but <clears throat> you're rising up, right? Don't let fear overtake you. That's going to be, that's going to be natural anyways, because you're showing something here where it's just, this is the true you though. Okay. So don't back away from, you know, speaking your truth, uh, showing your truth. Okay. Don't, don't play it small either. What else for Gemini? See, don't play it small. Don't play it small. Let go of those small thoughts about yourself. You, you know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. Worthy, because you are worthy. What else? Set your sights higher. <laughs> Spirit's funny. Increase your standards. Expect more for yourself. Don't settle. I think I just said that. <laughs> and you're not. And this is just confirmation that you're not. That you are headed towards things that are, um, you know, good quality, high value, because you're high value. What else? A major life change brings you great blessings. Oh my goodness. This is coming out twice. Gemini. Woo. You got a blessed change. See, there, there's some, there is going to be a resource, money, come into you to give you more time to give into the things that you're passionate about, the things that you love, to take care of yourself and your loved ones, you know, et cetera, et cetera. A new abundance is a new abundance and exciting opportunities washing over you now. This is heaven's help. This is heaven's doing here. What else? Explore your options, morning affirmation. Explore different ways of doing something different here. There might be something where you need to change some type of routine. Maybe there's something with morning, okay? It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make change. So I was telling you, Gemini, when it comes to making decisions on beneficial changes, you know, if you, if you feel a little stuck, Take a little time, breathe, give yourself some space, your mind some space, your heart some space, um, and let it come to you here, okay? Because Spirit is saying there's going to be a lot of opportunities and options that you might not even uh, see right now, but it is a good time to do what you want and have that freedom. See, this is like a little mer child. There's like a sense of innocence here, and you have that wild and free horsey here, <laughs> or not wild and free, but freedom is yours. Uh, a few times, you know, freedom, freedom. I'm just going to put those where they're in the camera there. Okay. What else for Gemini? Oh, partnership. See, quality people, quality uh, partners. Okay. Teamwork will give you better results. So this is a good time. Yeah. I was seeing something about you blending maybe ideas, getting more information, you know, whatever it is, a tr uh, find trustworthy people to partner with and build up a talented support team, especially a lot of you boss people out there, entrepreneurs. Okay. But there may be something here with love too. Let's get a little bit more with partnership for Gemini. I want a little bit more with this partnership for Gemini. An unforeseen one fall of abundance comes to you now. Look at your partnership with spirit here, first of all. And yes, it's going to manifest in the physical form. There's a new commitment on the way with someone. And yes, I, I, you know, Gemini, so far out of all the zodiac signs, I feel like you, I mean, you got a lot about this, like prosperity and increased wealth here. <laughs> increased wealth. 
you, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. Can I just say this again? Because I do feel that there is something going on where some of you Geminis might feel bad or guilty for the things that you have or the things that you'll accumulate and you need not to. Remember, not everyone's going to value what you value, but is it your job to care? Absolutely not. <laughs> Who cares? Because you've got protection from spirit. Okay, your bond with spirit is the most important here. And spirit is going to do what spirit can to protect everything that you have uh, done, that you have worked for, okay? Including people, partnerships, an unforeseen windfall of abundance comes to you. Now, did, wasn't there another thing about a windfall? Did we get an, wait, oh, the waves of prosperity washes over you now. What else? The, I, you know, before I, I uh, got this, turn this card over, I heard the good that you do comes back to you. And I'm just seeing that cycles, you know, I'm just kind of thinking, yeah, what you do, it comes back to you, right? It's all coming back. So everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon, moon's magic. The thing that I'm seeing about cycles is you're breaking cycles. You know, you're ready for that. You're uh, freeing yourself. That's that freedom with the horse, okay? And the Pegasus here, it's your... <laughs> You're breaking the cycle and it's taken and it has taken a lot of strength and courage to do so because you, you know that not everyone's going to be pleased with it, but that's not your problem. Anyhow, you're safe. Remember, God has got your back here. Wow. Your, your partnership with the heavens above here is helping you guys stay strong. Fear is an illusion. There's another message about setting strong boundaries, and that's even out of another deck of cards here. Set healthy boundaries, okay? It's, it's imperative. And the reason why, where is that one first card? Where's that card at? Oh no, it's not a particular card. It was the energy I was picking up with you is um, not holding back from, th you know, saying things. Cause you know, you really are a boss energy here. So, you know, in, in real life or not, you really are this boss like energy. So you, you've got to take that lead and not be afraid of what others think of what you want to share or say. Okay. You're not, you're not the type Gemini to abuse your power. That's the thing. This is why you're being put in a position of power and, and to keep going because you will not abuse it. What else? Or take advantage of it. Dream big. Didn't I just say those words? I swear to God, I said that. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. Just continue to see yourself succeeding no matter what. Throw those small thoughts in the garbage, you know, mentally. Just throw it out. Whoosh. What else? And you're letting go of small things, right? Small situations that don't serve you. Maybe maybe that's it. The situation is... <laughs> The situation was, uh, it's too tight fitting for you. And so God is tailoring uh, a new situation that fits you. Mother, oh my goodness, we got the mother and the father here. There's a divine partnership for a lot of you that you're coming into, a very divine union, okay? You're healing mother, mother and father energy. And also I'm getting something about life cycles here. Maybe like a family karmic thing too that you've broken, okay? But... What's most importantly is I'm seeing this energetic dance between the feminine and the masculine that's going on. And it's like a beautiful tease with one another here. So as your feelings towards your mother healed, or your father healed, or any issues we have wrapped around a maternal or paternal uh, energy, we are bringing in more support, more gratitude, more love, more stability. What else for Gemini? Nope, that's it for those. Okay, so Gemini, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Gemini have to look forward to in the near future? Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Do we get a card that said miracle in the beginning? Something like that? Anyways, you guys, you guys got good cards here. So anyhow... 
Yeah, in the near future, your miracle is going to occur. Yeah, because heaven has heard you loud and clear. <laughs> don't quit, okay? Don't don't quit by not you know getting into a pattern of old and worn out or settling for less. And you'll know that you're settling because your gut will tell you and be like, oh, that's how you know. Okay, let's find out how spirit is helping you currently. Okay, spending some time alone. Oh my gosh, that see this to me looks like maybe even that uh, hermit card I was getting. Spending time alone, meditating upon what you truly desire so that you can see it in your physical form or spending time alone so that you can allow the period of gestation to happen without other people's, you know, poopy energy on it, okay? We don't need that. <laughs> Because you're protecting a, a dream of yours. You're protecting a wish, a desire of yours. And that takes a lot of strength and courage to do so because you know exactly what it is you really want. Also, I'm getting that spirits helping um, some of you guys with a detox of some type. I don't know if it's detoxing from people, de detox health thing. Okay. And maybe even watching your own words because for some... I feel that you are being more careful and cautious with the things that you're communicating because um, there, there's something about you holding your dreams and plans a secret or not allowing prying eyes or gossip to take over um, or rumors to start about you or some kind of situation like that. And even if it does, oh my God, who cares? Because the thing is, is when you are walking in your own integrity, there ain't nothing that's going to stop you, okay? Because when others do wrong to you, they just get their own karma quick and fast. All right? So anyhow, I hope that was helpful. Love and light.